we're back guys, it's May. I'm back at the lodge and it's great to see everything going so well. We had tournaments here, we've had sailfish coming through at the tail end of the May month of May. We've had rooster fish absolutely crashing surface lures, live baits. We've had bluefin trevally, we've had tarpon, we've had giant cooperia snapper, we've had black marlin, blue marlin. It's been great. The marlin numbers haven't been huge, but they're not meant to be huge this time of the month. It's a rooster fish month. It's inshore and it's been spectacular. So I hope you guys enjoy what Kesh and the team have put together for you. So May is our prime time for rooster fish. And because of that, we, we were very fortunate to host the Pan American rooster fish tournament this season. We had teams all the way from Canada, Mexico, and of course our home team from Panama. It was a great tournament and Canada took the win this time again after winning again last year with Mexico in second place. Panama came up in third, but man, Henny Murray put on a beautiful team. The guys really enjoyed themselves and Henny got a great fish on day one just to get the ball rolling. So some of you might have heard me say before, catch and release, it's about respect. And it really is. It's about respect for our oceans, respect for the future generation, and of course, respect for the fish themselves. Here at Tropic Star Lodge, we have a great partnership going with the Guy Harvey Ocean Research Institute and the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation. In a, in, we also in there with Nova Southeastern University. And working with them, what we're trying to do is learn more about our oceans and how we can do conservation for the future. We have a tagging program going with Dorado, all bullfish, blue marlin, black marlin, sailfish, and as well as roosterfish. In the month of May, we had the guys from Guy Harvey and Nova coming down to help us with this program with the roosterfish. And so we got some good footage of just what it's about. And so we need to get the, the most amount of tags we possibly can into these roosterfish because through recapture is how we're learning about them. Because the rooster fish has got zero commercial value, we need to try and do it as a team down here and we'd love everyone to help us as much as they can. Because we need to learn as much about the species as we possibly can to ensure that their safety for the future. So a couple of years ago we started this throwing poppers for yellowfin tuna. It is a lot of fun and during May we get that size range anywhere from about 25 to 100 pounds. To catch a 25 to 50 pounders we're getting a lot of them on cedar plugs which the locals call a tobacco. It's literally a little lead head with a cedar piece of cedar wood on the back with the hook that goes through it. And what you do is you thread the line through, you get a little hook that hasn't got the regular big eye in it but an actual small eye that's built into the hook and you put it through there and just pull it back in. They have a great action and tuna cannot resist them. For those of you who want to be a bit more hands-on, get that boat in front of the porpoise, throw a plug on the surface, and I promise you, there's nothing more exhilarating than seeing a yellowfin tuna coming up and hitting that popper. In May, the water temperature is starting to come back to around that 80 to 84 degrees sort of range. We're getting winds coming in from the south. And with all the rain that we're getting, we're getting a wash off from the rainforest, which put logs in the water. It, may, it kind of churns it up nicely in there against the rocks. And with all that extra nutrients and everything, all the little bait fish are coming about and feeding. We get the hardtails coming through. And obviously with that, you're getting the bluefin trevally. You're getting a lot of rooster fish. Like I said already, May is our prime rooster fish month. We actually had a boat release 16 roosters in a day. And now when I say 16 roosters, the locals here, when they're only that big, we call them a kick kitty key because they're actually too small to crow. And so most of these are pretty big roosters and it was a phenomenal day. At the end of May, actually the sailfish started to show up because they come into June and we had a boat raised over 20 sails in a day releasing 16 
making 16 our lucky number for May. And with all of that, we also had the tuna offshore, and so May, is, May has been an extremely fun time, and we can't wait to see what June has for us. When all of the kids come down for Kids Club, summer holidays, it's going to be a blast. My experience at Tropic Star Lodge was very good. Yes, we had uh, spent a long time. Uh, I heard about this place from family, from neighbors. Uh, so we had very high expectations coming in and I would say the resort surpassed all those expectations. The service was great. The fishing was awesome. Um, everyone's so nice and will pretty much do anything for you. One day we went out and we were fishing and we caught one 50 pound Dorado and 10 sailfish. <laughs> and some days we went inshore as well and caught rooster fish, snapper. So pretty much you can catch anything you want here. The service is spectacular here, the resort is beautiful, um, and obviously, as he said, the fishing is fantastic. Uh, we had a great time, our mate, our captain, they were great. Uh, fishing was just unbelievable. This has been uh, a place I've wanted to come for a long time, certainly a bucket list if you're a fisherman, uh, and uh, we will certainly be uh, returning here. Uh, we didn't catch a marlin, so that's uh, on our list to come next time. If you're looking for big game fish and you want a luxury resort, this is the place to come. Incredible fishing, awesome resort, unbelievable service, uh, and a beautiful setting. I really want to say congratulations to a couple of the people. I mean, firstly, to Thomas Collins. Whoa! His first rooster fish that he got to release 65 pounds. A trophy is anything over 50. A 65 pound rooster fish is just incredible. And Elizabeth Collins got to release hers at 25 pounds. And then Tim Reed, another 60 pound rooster. We have a long list of people who released over 50 pound rooster this month in May. And so unfortunately I can't go through all of them. But I do want to say a big congratulations to Phil Andrews. First black marlin baby, 450 pounds. I know that is going to be a life-changing fish and again congratulations man that is just super cool we have the Schroeder group back Jeff and his friends are always a lot of fun and we love having them down here and Jeff congratulations 130 pound sale that's one of the big ones a hundred pound sale is considered big anywhere in the world the world record is in the region of 200 pounds but anything over 100 pounds is a big sale and 130 is there and then you guys have heard us talk about the tarpon Tarpon are not from the Pacific Ocean. Their home is the Atlantic. But because the man-made Panama Canal, they've started coming through here and making the Pacific their home. And so I'd love to say very co big congratulations to Matthew. Matthew McAllister. He got a 180 pound tarpon with Candelo and the boys on Australia. What a fish. We've released, it seems like we're getting more and more every season. And now we are not exactly very good at catching them. We kind of catch them the same as we catch all of our fish on live baits or poppers. But we are seeing more and more of them in the waters. And May, April, May is when we see most of them. And so it's pretty exciting seeing that that's coming into the fishery. And we are going to be working with the Smithsonian Institute to see what is happening with those. And we are going to be collecting scales to do DNA testing to see exactly what's happening. So in all guys, the month of May has been spectacular. It has been fantastic having all the new guests and guests returning to see us. I really hope you've enjoyed this fishing report as much as I have enjoyed putting it together. Unfortunately, I wasn't really here to do this one. You see, in the month of May, I became a dad. Little Logan White was born on May 16th. And so thank you for the team and everyone for looking after the place. You guys have done a wonderful job. And everyone who is here, you're going to see what they think. Everyone gave great testimonials. It was incredible. So thank you for joining us. Ciao for now.